Now, first warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. All right, let's check in with Tom. Tom, not a bad afternoon today. No, not at all. It was good to see the sun again, you yeah. know? Yeah. I missed it. We're what what would you sleep in until before the show at five or no I woke up no I mean I missed the sun oh you missed seeing it before <laughs> yeah the I yeah. missed seeing oh, it okay you I thought, thought you, you missed it all day long today <laughs> no way I woke up at yeah. seven this morning come on I, I hey look it just sounded like you missed the whole day I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> I you know what do I know let me give you some weather headlines that I can uh, I can handle I think with without getting myself in trouble. I think we're going to find more sunshine around here come tomorrow, which is going to be good. I'm sure you've heard by now it is going to turn colder around here and expecting a little light snow around here on Valentine's Day. How about that? Let's well, say we take you to Stow doing some building there and boy, it looks good up there in terms of the snow, doesn't it? Man, 18 degrees. We've got a northwest wind at eight miles an hour right now. Storm tracker. Not much to talk about, some lake effect snow over toward Lake Ontario. We do have a system south of us that will stay to the south of us. Just a little, just a little trough of low pressure may affect us later tonight. Maybe a snow shower tonight into the first part of tomorrow, and that's really about it. But it's a little bit chilly right now. I mean, it's like winter or something around here. Look at Shay Z along with Swanton. 18, St. Albans, 17, Lake Placid at 15. Meanwhile, right in the valley, low 20s. That's what we're looking at. Meanwhile, Stratton at, you know, 22. And Paulette right now, 21 degrees. So, you know, I mentioned it's going to get colder around here. 21, that's the best we're going to do tomorrow. So colder than today. Look at Friday and Saturday. The good news is we did bump up the 10 to a whopping 12 on Friday, 13 on Saturday, and then still in the teens on Sunday and also into Monday. So it's going to be pretty darn chilly around here for a while. Here's how tomorrow goes. We've got clouds in the morning and then increasing sunshine. So not unlike today, although the sun came out pretty early and the high temperature tomorrow about 21. So it is going to be cooler tomorrow than today. This is Futurecast. Take you through the overnight and you can see how the clouds are on the increase. So I think we have sun first thing tomorrow morning giving way to a partly sunny sky. Tomorrow night, no worries. It's going to be chilly for sure. Pretty cold out there. And then on Friday, again, it's going to be partly sunny, but on that day, it's going to be quite a bit colder. So for tonight, we'll call it partly cloudy early. Expect more clouds late. Just one in St. Johnsbury, just one in Saranac Lake, a little bit closer to 9 or 10 in the Champlain Valley. For tomorrow, any clouds in the morning giving way to increasing sunshine. How about temperatures getting well into the 20s, at least for some of us, like, say, Lisbon at 21, but Plymouth, over New Hampshire, 25 degrees. Burlington will call it 21. Meanwhile, Plattsburgh at 20, just 14 as you get into the Tri Lakes or maybe 15. In Tupper Lake, Peru at 21, a Scutney 26. Everybody looking at a partly sunny sky after first thing in the morning. From 21 to a cold night and a cold Friday morning, 12 degrees. Cold that night to a 13 on Saturday. Little light snow. Right now it looks like an inch or two. I know it's early. We'll watch that for you. Monday is uh, Washington's birthday, 17 degrees. And then we kind of warm up a little bit. Still on the lookout for some snow later Tuesday and Tuesday night.